Now to the state budget showdown. Millions of dollars distributed around the metro area, but some say still not enough. 16 WAPT's Scott Simmons follows that trail of money. The Jackson Zoo is getting a million dollars from the state. Part of it will be spent for a public feeding station for the giraffe area. The majority goes to the birds. The Swan Pond or Swan Lake will be one of the um, renovations that we work on. And some of that's just to, for better protection. An enclosure area that will protect the flamingos that were ravaged by a stray dog attack years ago. Blair Batson Children's Hospital got $6 million for expansions, and lawmakers sent $20 million for the Civil Rights and History Museum project. Each year, there is always a longer list of people who wanted things from the legislature versus the shorter list of those who actually got something. Case in point, the fairgrounds and the Coliseum, operators were hoping for around $50 million. They got closer to 10. This has to be something that's going to make the state money. Ag Commissioner Cindy Hyde-Smith wants to tear down the trademark and build a new one that attaches to the Coliseum. She says the Coliseum needs more repairs, but building a new trademark that attaches to the Coliseum would accomplish two goals at the same time. Since it's attached to it, we certainly want to blend in the structure as much as we can to something that uh, is nice and we can have the trade shows when the attachment occurs to the Coliseum. Hyde Smith says the $10 million in state money will start the planning process. Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves agrees the Coliseum needs repair work. It is good for Central Mississippi to, to have things like the basketball tournament and things such as that, and, and they're having a real hard time right now because of the, uh, the fact that legislatures before us have ignored the routine maintenance that should have gone on. Hyde Smith says the $10 million will be used for planning and design. Any actual work will have to be funded by lawmakers next year. Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. Now, state lawmakers have also approved $1.5 million for a Ridgeland corridor. It would connect Lake Harbor to Highland Colony Parkway.